Happy birthday, Mila. <laughs> She's officially one year old today. She came all the way in my bathroom, jumped on my counter just for that hair dye. Look, Mila, I have another one for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what her obsession is, but she will hunt the house for a hair tie. Happy birthday, Milita! There she goes. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mila. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and many more. Blow it out. Woo! Happy birthday, Mila. She hated every minute of that. You ready for your treat? Here, Adam, you ready to give it to her? Yep. I'm ready to go. Did you already give her a treat? Here, let's go get her a treat. One from each of us. Lola's like, what about me, guys? Should we get her a Sure. Should we get her? <laughs> Lola. Lola. It's Mila's. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's 3 p.m. I woke up this morning feeling a lot better. I ended up going to Texas Med just to make sure because I was feeling like trash yesterday. And before we went to the, not, what's today? Not yesterday. Wednesday we went to the gym in the morning and I had already started to feel Like I had allergies coming on went to the gym did fine Came home allergies took allergy medicine. I was like real itchy and just immediate congestion and that happens to me when if you've been following me for a while if I get <laughs> Allergies going it just like phew, hits me. I take an allergy pill the next day. I'm fine That was Thursday. I woke up no Wednesday Thursday I woke up feeling just kind of like achy and more like maybe it wasn't just allergies so went to Texas Med just to be sure I was negative for everything and pretty much it's just like a little viral bug or something which I don't even know where I would have gotten it from whatever it doesn't matter so I've been kind of taking it easy I feel a lot better today it was like overnight it went away which leads me to believe that it was allergy driven more than anything not even a bug because I never got a fever and body aches sometimes can mean viral but not necessarily sometimes it's just your body's reaction to not feeling well my body doesn't do very great when I don't feel well so who knows anyway I'm feeling a lot better today I have kind of a dry cough but again totally dried up I don't have any more post nasal drip I don't have any congestion like no stuffiness in my sinuses no body aches, no nothing, never had a fever. I feel totally fine today, just kind of a dry cough. So, who knows what it was, nobody else was sick, I wasn't around anybody sick. So I took yesterday off, I literally just did nothing most of the day. I tried to sleep, rest my body, and today I was supposed to be in clinic and I actually told my preceptor last night because I didn't know how I was gonna be feeling today. I probably, waking up feeling the way that I did, I probably could have gone to clinic, but I didn't want to push it. So <clears throat> I messaged her and I was like, hey, just to let you know, I had to go to Texas Med. I was negative for everything, but I'm going to not go tomorrow just to let my body rest. And she's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. So I have a full week of clinic next week, four full days. So it'll be fine. I'll be able to make up the time. But yeah, I was just not, not feeling it. So I'm so glad I'm feeling a lot better today. So I didn't vlog a whole lot. The big girls are outside swimming. Oh, the dress is right there watching them and, and Everly's inside so we're good I'm going to go through my summer baskets I don't know if you guys remember me doing these summer baskets here when we first built this system last year I think or maybe the year before I can't even remember also I have to say I'm going to keep these because we paid for them but these face shields I don't know these, I would, my, the girls would rather wear a mask. Like, I don't know what the purpose of these were. I, I when we bought them, I thought that they were going to be such a great idea, but they're not. They were a total waste of money for us, at least. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they don't, this is what they look like out of the package. They look like they would be great, right? Like, you'd be able to, they're kind of small for my head, but 
like that they would work really well but for the kids they don't they still like mess with them they have to go like this because they're kind of blurry when you're seeing when you're actually wearing it and it just you know, wasn't worth the money so forget that so anyway I'm going through my summer bins to kind of get them they've been swimming seriously we have only had the pool open for like less than a week and they've been swimming every single day <laughs> every day so we need to get all of our stuff kind of back to where it needs to be I also want to change out we've been using the blade plugins throughout the house because the semi-annual sales coming somebody tagged me or sent me a video of this girl doing a bath and body works like just a reminder the semi-annual sales coming so I do plan on getting some wallflowers but I have been using these blade plugins and they work perfectly fine they don't last as long in my opinion I just turned on the girls having fun they don't last as long in my opinion but um, they're significantly cheaper so yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and change change some out around the house and get these bins cleaned up so we can be ready for summer so with this one here being empty this is what it looks like just like a big old mess so we're gonna organize yeah, Hi. Ready? Ready? ready go Ooh, sorry mama you okay you can get in you ready Oh, you see another doggy. Look at that. Yeah, where is she biting? Hey. She's not scared. Yeah, she's not scared. Pet the puppy. Oh, she is scared. <laughs> Pet the puppy. Look. Look. Don't just step on it. Don't step on it. No, she wants to take out. She wants to go with it. Yeah. No, I'm waiting. You go pet? You wanna go play? Yeah, no. <laughs> Maddie's working on her one of her teeth. <laughs> then do we then I can twist it? It's almost done. I just don't want to. Her go. teeth are She's growing in all one. kinds of crooked too, so I like that. Braces are definitely in our future, but she has had this one tooth totally wiggly for like six months I feel like no joke and it's so wiggly she just is not like a puller she will leave that tooth hanging on for ever almost a year maybe probably, if she could. probably for seven years if she could <laughs> but I'm like it's time to get it out <laughs> don't hurt yourself don't rush it I try not to Emmy would have already had that tooth out. <laughs> in, in less than half the time that Maddie would have had it. She yanked every single one of her teeth, except you have still one baby tooth that needs to come out. Mm -hmm. It was probably going to have to be. Is it loose? It doesn't feel loose at all. No. I mean, it, yeah. Still fine, so it's She's going to need braces too, but for a different reason. Her teeth are straight, she just has large gaps and an overbite. That's going to need to be corrected, so. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of braces and orthodontist appointments in our future. It's almost, baby? Yeah, like, I feel like it's ready. It's that means just, I'll be able to. It's just like. That means I'll be go look, I go look in the mirror. So we went to cheer practice today, and the two, uh, so Emmy and Autumn, their practice starts next week? Not next week, the week after. I don't know why that is. I think they're supposed to start practice like the week of the game. But for whatever reason, Maddie's team started early. So, yeah. That's that's what happened today. We went to cheer practice. We, we saw those husky, uh, not golden. What are those? German Shepherd. So anyway, we went to go do that. And we came home and um, the little girls are in bed already. Maddie's trying to get her tooth out. But going back to the whole braces thing, if you have, is that I got bit or something? That's weird. Um, if you have any suggestions or great places, especially if you're in San Antonio for orthodontics, there, 
actual like primary dentist does not do orthodontics. Orthodontics? Am I orthodontics? Am I saying that right? <clears throat> orthodontist? It's an orthodontist, but it's a Orthodontist. Orthodontics. I feel like I'm totally saying braces. I don't even know why. Oh yeah, it's bleeding big time. It's about to fall out. <laughs> you got it. So especially if you're in the San Antonio area, if you have any recommendations recommendations for uh, braces, like good places, reasonably priced, but do a good job type of thing. I don't know if Invisalign would be better. Honestly, I don't think, I don't, Emmy may qualify, but I don't know if Maddie would qualify. She may have to do traditional braces. My teeth were very jacked up when I was a kid. Very, probably worse than Maddie's <laughs> on the dress. Yours are similar to how Maddie's are growing, right? Just the two front teeth were a little like growing and um, slanted. So he had adult braces. I had braces from the third grade they, as when I started my first set all the way up until I was, I got them off right before I was a freshman in high school. That's how long I had braces. <laughs> and then I had a retainer with a tongue guard on it after. It was it was a crazy experience. And now it's like the cool thing, all the kids have braces. When I was growing up, nobody had braces. Nobody, I was literally the only one out of all of my friend group. And it was, felt torturous at the time, but it was okay. I wish I had, is it almost out? I wish I had worn my retainer. It's like, it's twisting. I know, pull it. Pull it. Let daddy help you, let daddy help you. You want me to pull it? Let mommy help. I'll record. I'll record. Let's tie it onto a string and slam the door. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any suggestions, if you've gotten braces in San Antonio and you have a great orthodontist, let me know in the comments. The the guy that I got my braces with, I think it was a father son practice. Honestly, the son is probably still in business, but. Maybe the dad is, because I really can't gauge how old he was when I was younger. Because, I mean, that was whew, probably 20 years ago. So I don't know how old he would be now. But, yeah. So let me know. He, he got it! <laughs> I kept telling her, just rip it out. Woohoo! Awesome! That's good. Now it's gonna bleed, so go sit in the mirror and just. <laughs> Truth Bear is coming tonight. Woo! This is like their favorite pastime. <laughs> Ready, Ebony? Woo! Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. We're outside, I'm watering the grass. Well, I'm watering my plants, and I started watering the grass, and it's actually a really pretty day. So the girls were like, can you spray us? I'm like, okay, go ahead and ride by, so. Here I go, spraying them <laughs> when they're riding their bikes. Here. Oh, the wind's too strong. <laughs> we have some errands to run. I really want to get them some workout clothes. I just worked out this morning. I still have a bit of a cough, so I didn't work out. I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't want to have a coughing fit or anything at the gym, so he worked out. The girls and I stayed here. And actually, he walked on the treadmill, and we just stayed, and he did some weights while we stayed inside, so. <laughs> okay, I'm about to turn it off. Last one. Last one. <laughs> okay, last, last, that's it, okay? All done. Go ride your bike. All the neighbors are out mowing their yards. It's like our, our neighbor to the left, our neighbor across the street, and the one catty corner to us. They're all mowing their lawns, weed eating and stuff like that. Our lawn needs to be mowed too, but the rest just did it like this past week. So 
I may see if the lawn guy wants to do it while we're out running errands. Monty has cheer practice today at four. So yeah, like I said, I didn't work out today. I dressed like I was going to work out. I was like, ah, oh, I should be fine. And then I started coughing and I was like, I probably have some sort of bronchitis going on. I don't want to like spread to anybody. Good job. So I didn't want to have a coughing fit at the gym. So nix that idea. So I'm just gonna rest today, which is totally fine. I feel fine. I just have a dry cough and yeah. It is what it is. So, anyway, we're going to run a few errands today. Like I said, I want to get the girls some workout clothes. They have like jean shorts. I bought them jean shorts and a bunch of tank tops and t shirts to wear. But, Emmy, I signed her up for cross country camp. She's so excited. I'm so excited for her. She was interested in joining cross country at the end of this last school year, but because she was still distance learning, she couldn't join. So I told her next year for sure we can join. So they're having a camp, a week long camp at the school for cross country and she's super excited about that. So I signed her up for that yesterday. So she needs like running stuff. She typically works out, she's very cold natured, so she typically works out in like leggings, with a shirt or whatever, but she needs like running shorts, th those kinds of things. And same thing for Maddie. She has a bunch of, of poor kids. She's just growing so fast. She has a bunch of jean shorts that I got her and Emmy, uh, like within the last month, but no like workout stuff to do cheer in or to go to the gym in and work out. She was in jean shorts when we were at the gym. So I need to get them some reasonably priced, decent things. So I think we're going to check out Ross. I have a grocery pickup order at Walmart to pick up, which is just like stuff to restock our summer fridge, our drink fridge, I should say, juices and sodas and waters and stuff for when people come over because tomorrow my mom's bringing the boys over, the girls' cousins, so that they can swim and we can have a cool family day and stuff. So I want to have the fridge. Y'all ready? Yeah. Stocked for that. So anyway, we're going to run those errands. Oh, and wash the car because it's filthy. The girls are eating dinner, <laughs> but um, we got a lot of stuff at Ross. I'm typically not a huge fan of Ross. Go eat. What are you doing? I'm really not because it takes, it's just a lot <laughs> to like look through everything and it gets overwhelming quick. The girls are having an early dinner because we're going to go get, well, it's not even really that early. Andres and I, and I are just not um, that hungry. So they're having leftover spaghetti and some salad, spaghetti meatballs. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take off all the tags and everything for them on this stuff and then we're gonna go get snow cones and a little while and go wash the car and I just we had a late lunch and I'm just not really not really hungry I was working on sorry when I was opening those I was, had the camera on that stuff the whole time but I was working on patient write-ups I am almost caught up oh it's gonna feel so good almost caught up I think I have five more patients to write up on this week was a little earlier because I only had clinic two days, but I was not feeling well for a couple of the days towards the end of the week, so it's not like I got that big of a break. But we went to Ross, we were able to try some stuff on, worked out awesome. Like I said, we got a lot from Ross. All this was about $150 and I did get Emmy a new pair of shoes too, which is cool. And then after that we picked up the Walmart order, which like I said, just had waters and soda. It had some oranges and romaine lettuce also in it just because those are things H-E-B didn't have on their list if you watch my grocery haul you saw that so we did that and then came home and everybody rested took a, like a nap the big girls all three of the big girls were reading maybe fell asleep I don't even know like I said I was at the computer doing patient write-ups for like two hours so nice little break um, let me show you quickly some of the things I got them. So Maddie and Autumn and Everly are super easy to buy for. Mad Maddie's not super picky. I kind of have an idea of the things that she likes. Emmy's starting to get a little bit harder to pick for, so I don't pick for her anymore. I make sure she's with me so she can give me an idea of what she wants because if I get something for her and she doesn't like it, she won't wear it. And I totally get that because if somebody got me something that I didn't like, I'm not going to wear it either. So, um... That works for me. If she's with me and she can pick it out, it works out 10 times better. So we got these shorts. These are runner shorts. They're $8. They're the champion brand. They're the kind that have like the little chunis. Oh, she's going to dump her plate. <laughs> um, 
And then she picked out this shirt, super cute. I do need to get her sports bra, so if you can recommend like good little girl sports bras, that would be awesome. This is totally up her alley. It says Venice Beach, California. This is the back, and then the front has a twist tie. This says Venice Beach. This is actually a junior's extra small, and it is a little oversized on her, but to work out, it peaks out. That's why I need a sports bra, not an actual bra for her. And we tried one on at Ross, and it was a little too tight, so we're gonna have to, they didn't have anything else in her size. Um, $8, so that wasn't bad. And then she also picked out these. She loves joggers. Again, I think I mentioned this earlier. She's cold natured, so she loves stuff like this. These are a medium in the little girl section. They were $11. They're black, cuffed at the bottom. They have zipper pockets, and um, she did have to draw them in a little bit. But again, her and Maddie are the exact same size right now. So it's kind of cool because stuff that they get, if the other one wants to share, they totally can so that was hers these are also hers these are an extra small also in the junior section so at Ross the way that they have it is like the kid toddler which goes up to an extra large 14 16 and then they go up to juniors which is like size zero or double zero zero one two three blah 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 um, so these are extra small in the you want a fork <laughs> Um, in the junior section and this actually fit Maddie and Emmy so I picked up two I believe and these were $5.99 and they're like biker stretch shorts so perfect for working out this one's also Emmy's this is from that same brand this was only $5.99 and it is a size small so again this doesn't have like a built-in bra or anything so um, she needs something there on this side. I'm gonna check Target and see if they have something. I think this is the last thing I got her because two pairs of pants, two shorts, two shirts. These are some Nike pants and they're slim. So I actually don't think these would fit Maddie. Her thighs are thicker. They were on clearance for $8.99 and they're a size medium, but they're the tight fit. And so they fit Emmy nicely because she's tall and lean. Well, she's not that tall, but she's lean and um, Maddie's pretty tall for her age, but she's thicker, so, yeah. These would probably just be good for Emmy, but those. And then, I gave Emmy these options. There was a different one that had some orange shorts. She likes the color orange, but, um, I don't, they, it wasn't her, up, like, to what she wanted. So, we didn't get three of these. We only got two. This is actually a large 12-14, so the shirts, again, may be kind of baggy. So, we'll have to do, like, a little undershirt or a little sports bra whatever but the shorts fit fine and they're just puma biker shorts and a um shirt like a wicker type shirt and this was like $48 I would never <laughs> $12.99 more up my alley that's Maddie's this one's also Maddie's Again, if her and Emmy want to share, they could. So these are more like <clears throat> the material of basketball shorts, but they're soccer size. So they're shorter. And then the tank top and the pink shirt. That. And then these same shorts, I actually got the exact same size for Maddie. The runner shorts. And these runner shorts are also good for both of the girls. They're Nike. Kind of a funky color, but they're the dry fit. And they were... $6.99 on clearance. So, got those. And then see, these are the exact same shorts and then extra small. They fit both of them, so I got those. And then lastly, I got these. Also, they could kind of share as a 10, 12, they're eight bucks. They're like the same material as those leggings that make your butt look good, but they don't, like for the little girls, they don't do that. It doesn't cinch in the booty. They're just colorful, colorful pants. Oh, these are shorts. Oh my gosh, baby. These are shorts. I thought they were pants. They were they were pants. No, I got the shorts. I left the pants. I didn't know that. Darn it. You know what? I thought these were folded. I really, I really thought that they were folded. Oh my gosh. I'm so dumb. I can't believe that. I wanted her to have the pants. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. 
I just, I wanted them to have like the pant option. Uh, darn it, these are shorts. Why didn't y'all tell me? You didn't notice they were shorts either? No, because you let, you, pur Daddy purposely put them on that white yellow seat. I was wondering why you had two of them in there. Because yeah, one is shorts. Heller. No, no, no. I think I picked up pants. Yeah. Then, then you got the shorts. And I picked up, well, because I put one back because it was kind of see through. Like it was a light pink color, but these look fine. Man. <laughs> anyway, they were very reasonably priced. $7.99 for two of them. And then I picked up these shorts for me. What's wrong? You mad? Nobody's feeding you. In a 3X. They're like a dusty rose pink. $6.99. They show a tiny bit of the cottage cheese cellulite on the side, but they're they're nice overall. And then some Pumas for Emmy. Emmy like these. So she's a size five. They were only 33 bucks. So pretty good. Not bad at Ross. We stopped for snow cones and we went to an oldie but goodie Mr. Cool. I <clears throat> prefer their like snow cone snow cone. Everybody else got, me and Autumn got regular snow cones. But uh, Emmy got a snow cone but with like Lucas and stuff in it and Andres and Maddie got Italian ice. <laughs> and it was kind of expensive for how, show them what yours looks like. <laughs> it's a very little cup. Not like what we're used to at Iced Up. So I would say for Italian ice, <clears throat> Definitely iced up is the way to go. For a regular snow cone, Mr. Cool is good. So, came out for just a refreshing treat. The snow still has a good thing, right, Daddy? Mm hmm. You know well, it's sour? Like, yeah, it's because of that. Mine is sour, Daddy. It's sour, sour. It's oh, you want to try some of mine? Mm. Hers makes me like pucker. It has pickle juice and Lucas, right? You want to try some? No, no, I'm good, thanks. Daddy, you want to try some? Mm -hmm. Is it, um... It's like sour. Is it sour? With pickle juice? Woo! My mouth's watering. Car wash. The girl's favorite pastime. Ah! Ebony! Yay! <laughs> oh, look! It's rainbow! Every time we come to the car wash, we talk about getting an unlimited package. Don't mind my lips. <laughs> um, and we never do. But we end up paying 20 bucks on the car wash anyway, so this month we're getting an unlimited package so we can come more than once. Uh, and honestly, like one and a half visits pays for the thing, so the van's gonna be ultra clean this month. Woo, it's like neon. Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> I did my first Peloton ride in three and a half months. And I almost want to cry because I feel like I'm dead. But I did it. Oh my gosh, that was tough. My last ride was the end of February and it is June 13th. So pretty pathetic that I paid for it for three months. Thank you, baby. And I did absolutely nothing, but it's, it's okay. We're back at it. It's a Sunday, so a that's Sunday. the only reason why we're not at the gym because the girls can't. There's no child care at um, the gym Whew, today. So, yes, it is warm. My mom, go ahead. My mom is coming over with the boys in a little while. Yeah, pizza, yay. My mom's bringing me a salad, but <clears throat> they're gonna have pizzas. And um, they're gonna swim and have a good old time. So I'm glad I got a workout in before. I have severely been slacking. I've let myself gain like 15 pounds, but it's fine. Accountability, that's where it starts. And here we go for the thousandth time, <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine.